In my last video, I tried to explain why it is so important to eat food grown in living soil, teeming with microbes and nutrients. I explained that we know how to do this with G-biota beds, but they do need a fair amount of attention to ensure the right microbes are being bred and the essential trace minerals are bioavailable to the plants. But with the right attention, they do work fine growing soil and plants which are natural pre and probiotics. The technical challenge is how to make this technology available to those that need it most. And I introduced Mary, my fictitious mum with three kids living in a flat with three jobs to pay for the exorbitant rent. Humans face two major threats, climate change and the degradation of our soils. By recycling food waste, we are cutting down on greenhouse emissions and regenerating soil. The more people who are doing this, the better the world will be. And it actually costs less than buying from the supermarket. It is just a question of developing a system which is really easy to use. In this video, I explained a three box system, which is a quantum jump in enabling Mary to have healthy food for herself and her kids. These really work and are excellent ways of explaining how the system works, but we think they can be made even easier to use. These shots show some of the many experiments I'm carrying out to make growing pre and probiotics really easy. But in our modern virtual world, we seem to have forgotten that the real world is much more complex than the virtual world and the ideas have to be tested in the real world. I have many systems under test and I welcome anyone to trial these as independent testing gives a lot of valuable information. The aim is to make the system as easy to use as possible so my fictitious Mary can use it. What may seem easy to me may not seem easy to someone else. Many years ago I wrote some software which actually involves some pretty heavy mathematics solving coupled nonlinear partial differential equations. The company I formed grew to become the leading exporter of technical software from Australia, a multi-million multinational company. But it was not because we were particularly clever. It was because we understood that software had to be easy to use for the non-specialist. We had a joke about being author friendly, meaning only the writer knew how to use the software. So I welcome other people with an interest in reversing the health epidemic from poor quality food to trial the system and give some feedback on how easy it is to use and how it could be improved. But for now, I'll just describe the three box system, which I know works and is the basis for all the various options I'm evaluating as part of my experiments to make it easy to use. As you can guess, the three box system has three boxes which stack. The middle box is the breeding box and it's filled with organic waste, typically food waste, but any organic waste will do. An inoculant is added which contains mineral, microbiota, the little bugs that will do the decomposing, and worms which will make the soil into a nice texture. Particularly important are the mycorrhizal fungi which break down the minerals and make them bioavailable to the plants. Sitting on top of the breeding box is the growing box, which previously was a breeding box and is full of the living soil teeming with microbes and nutrients. The plants are capturing carbon dioxide from the air, but they are also exuding special sugars from their roots. These sugars attract and feed the beneficial microbes, which will capture the nutrients from the soil and feed them to the plants. While the grower can choose what plants to grow, we recommend growing a mixture of companion plants. The whole idea of the eco box is to emulate the natural system evolved over millions of years, forming an ecosystem of cooperating or symbiotic elements working as a unified system. The bottom box is just a reservoir to catch the flushing from the top box. The boxes are lifted off so the liquid in the reservoir can be poured into a watering can and the box is reassembled. The liquid in the reservoir is dark brown and if you look at it under a microscope you can see it is full of the microscopic creatures which turn dirt into soil and make the mineral rock dust bioavailable to the plants. The watering can is then topped up with additional water to, to a set mark so there is enough liquid to saturate both the growing and breeding boxes and return excess flushing to the reservoir. We call this soil blood because it's doing exactly the same job as our blood circling nutrients to power our muscles and the cells which make up our immune system. But in the eco boxes 
The soil blood feeds the plants and provides the microbes which make the minerals bioavailable to the plant. After a period when the plants are harvested, the growing and breeding boxes are swapped so the growing box has a supply of fresh soil. This is important. Many people growing plants in pots will have a great success at first, but over time the soil becomes tired from a lack of living microbes and they are no longer productive. By learning from the way natural ecosystems have worked over millions of years, we have a totally sustainable food production system and with 8 billion people on the planet, we really need that. These basic principles apply to all eco boxes. To make the system as easy to use as possible, I'm trying some different variations, which I'll talk about in my next video.